Hello, everyone. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the AEA show in Las Vegas, Nevada, where Sandia Aerospace has added a new transponder called the STX-165 to its line of specialty avionics products. Here's Dennis Schmidt to tell us about it. The STX-165 is a Mode C transponder with a built-in encoder. Uh, measures about six inches in depth behind the panel and use a half 3 ATI cutout. The same kind of cutout that you find in most corporate aircraft. Um, it can also have a probe option, in which case it will give you outside air temperature, density altitude, and icing alerts. Uh, and it also has three timer functions and a lapse flight timer. It has a normal up counter that is resettable, and it has an approach timer. Uh, it uses a very bright, sunlight-readable OLED display. People today are looking to see if you need a Mode S to meet the ADS-B mandate. The fact is you only need Mode S if you fly above 18,000 feet. If you fly below 18,000 feet, you can use the UAT option. With that option, you also need a transponder, but it can be a Mode C transponder. So it's very cost effective in using a low cost UAT for ADSB and mode C for the uh, transponder option. So we see the market as piston aircraft that fly below 18,000 feet. We also have a uh, remote unit, and that can be used in conjunction with other na nav systems, uh, such as GRT, MGL, and, and, and other ones, uh, where you can operate it right through their control panel. So those are the systems. That, that one runs 1750. You can find out more information on the STX-165 and our other products on our website at www.sandia.aero.